What is going on gamers? Chiskul here with another Rise of Civilizations video. And today we're going to be going over the new patch notes which you would have received in your inbox. Since this is my first time reading patch notes for Rise of Civilizations, what I'd like to do is literally read through the content and share with you my feedback as I go. That way you can listen to this on your way to work or while you're doing chores or wherever it is that you would prefer to be listening in on uh, comments about patch notes. So with that said, let's get rolling. Greetings, Governor. We plan to update the game to version 1.0.10, the Karak Ceremony, on 10-23-2018. The servers will be down for an estimated two hours during the update. We apologize for any inconvenience, and you'll receive a compensation reward once the update is complete. I love that they're offering compensation whenever there's downtime. That is a fabulous policy. Prepare for a new event, the Karak Ceremony. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This will introduce a new event, the Karak Ceremony, to Rise of Civilizations. This event will encourage teamwork and help governors gauge their own personal development. So to me, that means that there's a personal component and a team component. The event will last for three days, during which governors can use action points to summon Karak uh, challengers of increasing strength. These challengers can be fought individually or as part of a rally. Once an alliance's members complete certain individual challenge prerequisites, an alliance boss challenge will be unlocked. So there's a lot that I like about this event. Love that there's an individual component encouraging each person to participate. Love that there's a team component so that there's some peer pressure in your alliance to get everybody involved. And I love that there's an end big achievement. The Karak Ceremony will be added to the Kingdom History Development Cycle. So what this means is that the event isn't going to pop up until you hit that part of the Kingdom History Development Cycle. Each Kingdom's Ceremony will begin once the corresponding historical stage has been reached. Are you brave enough to meet the challenge? Complete all levels of the Karak Ceremony to earn the title Kao Karak and enjoy the limitless treasure of the Karaku Kingdom. So um, to me, this kind of signals that there's unfortunately not going to be a new commander that we unlock through this event and is more of an end game prestige sort of event. And I like the idea that I mean, maybe titles already existed in the game and I just haven't found them, but I like the idea that they'll be coming up with titles that you can unlock. Second item in the patch notes, it's finally here. The Alliance shop is now online. Following the update, Alliance leaders and officers of rank 4 or higher will be able to purchase items in the Alliance shop using Alliance credits. Purchased items will be placed in the Alliance storehouse, all Alliance members will then be able to purchase the items with individual credits. And it says in parentheses, individual credits will be added in this update. Existing contributions will not be affected. So it sounds like your Alliance leaders can pick out the things that will show up for purchase in the storehouse, and your individual contributions will enable you to get those items. That is awesome, especially if it encourages more Alliance activity. New styles. Celebrate Halloween and Dia de, los de Muertos with new skins. We'll be holding a limited event to celebrate Halloween and Dia de Muertos. All governors who participate in this event will have a chance to earn temporary Halloween-themed city decorations and permanent Halloween and Dia de Muertos-themed avatars. At the same time, festive elements will be temporarily added to the game interface. Get ready to celebrate. Okay, that's nice. Everybody likes uh, cosmetics, right? More city decorations. Personalize your home. New lantern lighting effects will brighten your city at night. New gold brick city roads. All right. This is where things get really interesting to me in the patch notes. Fourth item in the list, new commander expertise skills. This, my friends, is a big deal. 
Years of experience on the battlefield can transform a gifted commander into an extraordinary one. Following the update, a fifth expertise skill will be available to all epic and legendary commanders. This skill can be unlocked by upgrading all of the commander's regular skills to level 5. Holy cow, this is a big deal. So, um, there's a couple things going on here. The first, when I think about a new skill being unlocked, is that it increases the power level of those heroes, potentially very significantly. We don't actually know what those skills do. But because they're only available to epic and legendary commanders, that means that probably the uh, blue and green commanders, that's advanced and elite commanders, are going to be less viable in the end game. And I suppose that makes sense, although up until this point, it might have been really advisable to level up a blue commander, uh, particularly I'm thinking of Lancelot, for a cavalry unit, because uh, you could, for a fraction of the experience that it takes to level up an epic or a legendary commander, you could take Lancelot pretty darn high up in uh, star level and experience level. Uh, and now if you do, yeah, you'll have more talent points available than you would if you had an epic or a legendary hero, but you won't have that fifth skill. Now, if I were uh, the Lilith group that, that makes this game, I, I would be thinking about using this fifth skill to rebalance the commanders. And I hope that's what they're thinking. Now, when I say rebalance the commanders, what I mean is that this skill will be stronger on the epic and legendary commanders that are either seeing the least use or are the least popular. Um, the other way that I think would be perhaps even be a better way of thinking about the rebalance is focusing solely on power level of the commanders. Whichever commander is actually less powerful than the others should get a stronger fifth expertise skill. That's how I'd be thinking about it anyways. So I'm pretty excited about what will happen here. What do you think they're going to do? Share in the comments. Next up, fifth bullet, improved gameplay, new collect all feature for Alliance gifts, love quality of life updates, option to reduce display quality now available when a large number of troops are displayed on the screen. That probably makes sense for end game when there's a huge, huge battle going on with lots of commanders and lots of players. And a teleport preview feature makes teleporting easier to understand. That's cool. Now this one has one line, not even a whole line. It's got three words, but I think is also probably the second most, if not the most interesting thing in this update, a new VIP store. A lot of questions I've got about how that VIP store would work. What's going to be in the VIP store? And how do you purchase the things that are in the VIP store? This is really exciting because I hope that it might include things like sculptures of legendary commanders. I would hope that you can use both gems and resources to make purchases, much like how the Mysterious Stranger works. But right now, we don't really know. What are your thoughts? Place them in the comments. Number seven on the list, other new events added to the Kingdom History development cycle. To me, this sounds like they've added in some sort of filler events or events at the end of the cycle. Uh, since they're not calling out any details about it, Maybe they're not particularly different than the types of events we've already seen. So that concludes the update notes for uh, update 1.0.10, which goes live on 10.23. I think these are really exciting. It changes the balance for endgame heroes. It uh, potentially offers us some really interesting rewards I'm particularly excited to see what happens in this VIP store. Eager for your thoughts and feedback. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again. Catch you later.